All right, what's up, YouTube? Got a pack of M21 we're gonna get into. And without further ado, I always forget to bring a knife. I'm always like, let's get into it. Uh, just wait five minutes while I try and... Uh. <coughs> Man, it's stronger than plastic. Old Teferi, funny story. I'm a noob and I got this because I was like, I need another Teferi and I want to open some packs, but I wanted Teferi Time Raveler and he's from War of the Spark. <laughs> yup, yup. <laughs> that happened. Yeah, I did that. That's all right. Part of me is like, should I just save it to draft with? But I've never opened a Core 21 set and I want to get some Smoogans and some things. front not on the back i kind of like that okay that's different then we thought we got a, f a foil uncommon right off the bat carrion dryad and it's looking like the rares are up front okay interesting so it's interesting to see how they how they do those right because it's different like every set i feel like yeah that makes it easy so we don't have to skip past the commons though all right shoot i like that i think this video go a lot quicker hope everyone had a good holiday you guys get some some magic goodies in your stocking or as your present something oh okay no foil but we got the brash taunter i'm not familiar with a lot of honestly the cards from this set so i'm like really not i know like some of the big hits we're looking for teferi's tutelage i think this is good for mill right what does this do when teferi's tutelage enters the battlefield draw a card then discard a card whenever you draw a card target opponent mills two cards mm -hmm. yeah okay interesting mm -hmm. it's a great mill card all right especially if you're running um you know opt and things like that all right all right it's probably too or um what's the planeswalker um He's a Jace, but he comes out as a devil and you get to scry him and draw. Mirror Mage? Mirror Mage, yeah. Shackle Geist. I think that actually uh, finds you for two, for two, two, fine. Yeah. Huh. Tap two untapped spirits you control, tap target creature you don't control. That could be kind of cool. Oops, wrong pile. Kinetic Augur. Tide Skimmer. Obsessive Stitcher. Huh. Yeah, I'm not familiar with like, man, those tear tabs suck. Yeah, I, think so uh, I get excited when they have them because I just am like, okay, it'll be easier to open the pack, but then they never work out, so it's like, why? Was uh, Amazon Prime able to get on their bid? We got Sublime Epiphany. Pardon the interruptions, guys. It's pretty common at this point, I think, though. Oh, that's a cool land. I've never seen those. What the heck? I love those lands. I've literally never seen that. Huh. I don't know they came out in Interesting. Okay, Bossry's Lieutenant. Out. Yeah. That's actually really cool. I like those. Tab work. Griffin. Oh, we got the chromatic ori. This is actually one of the ones I was hoping to pull. Yes, I'm happy about that. Yeah, that's one of the more expensive ones. But beyond that, I just it's cool because it's an artifact and I have that Thran Temporal Gateway. And I, that's something I could slap down with that, and then I'm creating, you know, like pay lances by the way, any color. It's nasty. And then you know, because like, dude, if I get this out with a Thran Temporal Gateway, it pays for 
it gets a, a mana more than it costs to put down mm -hmm. and it right away it's an artifact i can tap it for the mana right away so it's yeah i do have some plans for that it's probably a long time in the future but i'll probably build around that urza mm -hmm. artificer and well i'm waiting for the brother's war to drop right that's definitely something i'm looking forward to what is that end of 2022 i think though so we got a little while ago. Uh, it'll go faster than you know it though. We got a new set coming out soon. Yeah, well, there's the uh, the double feature. How do you guys feel about that? The Innistrad double feature. I was pretty excited about it because I'm like, dude, that's really cool. That they're gonna do that until I found out the price. I just found out it's gonna be 230 a booster box. I'm no like, offense. why would I pay just On for roads. variant arts when t when it's most of the time? I don't know what the print rate of this new set will be, but most of the most of the variants are cheaper. Cheaper. Azusa Lost was seeking. Okay. Um, Actually, so it's like, turn. why would I? Yeah, that's cool for three. Eliana's devotee. Um, yeah, I just thought that was like a kind of a kick in the balls. Excuse my language. Is like Wizards is kind of pulling pulling over with that. I feel like there's no real good excuse for them being. It's like. Man, you guys are probably spending less. These all are gonna be black and white because it's like so. It's like you're spending. Everyone knows black and white print costs less than colored print, so I feel like honestly it should be cheaper. Almost yeah. like it's like you guys are spending less money to produce this set, unless there's just gonna be like a really limited quantity, which will drive up the uh, drive up like the the value of each card. <laughs> then why would I pay you twice as much? There's n really no good value in those sets. Well, that's not true. I guess meat, meat hooks, hooks, meat hooks really grown, good. but meat hook. It's like, what do you, unless you pull a meat hook every other pack, like that's just garbage. Not every other pack, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, it's it's going to be really, pack. really tough to get the expected yeah. value or what you spent out back out of the pack in value. It's I'll just going to be one. atrocious. Yeah, I, I'm not going to buy one. Um, what are the bags uh, coming out of there? Are they, uh, these ones, uh, so this land, it's a tap land. No, it's a tap land, and they, uh, you scry one when it comes in, so it's better than most tap lands. It's the temples. They're all the temples. They're just awful. It's the same as in, uh, what is it, Theros or some, what, another set had these. I don't know why. Why repeat them? I just hate tap lands. I mean, obviously, standard has its place for them. I just, why? It, it, it does bug me, cancel. It's a cool, cool card, but, eh. Now what we're looking for containment priest. Eliminate. It's not too bad. Uh, Sanctum Faithful Harvest. Meteorite. Anyway, yeah. I'm kinda bummed, yeah, on the price point of those for sure. I feel like it's a rip off. A rip off. Yeah, there you go. Can't sugarcoat it. It's a it's a price gouge, man. There's no there's no good excuse for it. It's like, are they adding? Yeah, some cool mythics or some potentially powerful Maybe there's card. a chance of no, a set no. like a list card no. that comes out of there. No, no. I don't Nothing. think so. No, I don't believe so. Ooh, tokens. Not that I've heard. It's just strictly, okay, there's a cool variant. There's not a lot of the variant arts popping up in this set, but there's one. All you got was one of those lands so far, too? Uh, two of the, two of the no, tap no, lands. No, the, the dope, like, island. That yeah, just one of those, yeah. Bummer. Yeah, I mean, unless they're hiding in the back of the packs, because like I'm like not... I'm not going through the commons, really. I'm sure that's a $5 land, dude. Really? Yeah. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, because yeah, it's like a special... Uh, I mean, that's really, land, really cool land. land yeah, and I, I definitely... We're not seeing them, like, on uh, in very many packs, so... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it has some value. You know, it's kind of funny when, like... And the land's really expensive. I saw a land, a mountain, regular mountain, for like $33 the other day. And it was just, uh, it was the artist. It was like, I, don't know, uh, I forget what artist too, but an was artist that Davis? everybody loves. Oh yeah, you were with me, huh? It was at the Davis shop, that's right. Uh, yeah, because we were both like, why is this mountain? Yeah, it's... $40, bro. Like, it was just an artist, I think, that's been doing art for Wizards and Magic for since magic was around, but it's like, okay, cool. Yeah, it still taps yeah. for one red. Yeah. Um, and oh, there's another one, that's cool. And not, not to poo-poo on a collector mentality, but like, it's a land, like. 
Yeah. Uh, let's it's not see. A, um, not a fr- oh, you got a, what is that, a Fates Fetters? Fates Fetters, hey, yeah. Anita. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, cause I got one more that I got a planes. That one's pretty cool, that too. Fates Fetters, you got a throw in your white deck. Let's see, what's the deal? Let's see. Uh, enchant permanent with face feathers. So it's about to be game for life. Enchant permanent can't attack log. Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. For four, though, that's it. Yeah, but you get four life. This is true. Um, Let's see. It's starting to get a big pile. Oh, let's get out of the way. Come on, where's a. Give me a Ugin. Give me a. Give me, give me, give me. I'll take them all. Oh, oh there we go. Jason. Grim Tutor. Hey, as I'm asking for something, I get the Grim Tutor. That's one of the more expensive, but who doesn't like a Tutor card? Grim Tutor for three life. Get anything you want out of your deck. I'll take it. Love it. Okay, two of the big cards so far. This isn't a bad box. We're just getting about probably only a quarter of the way through. So yeah, not bad. Two of the big chase cards. Uh, Chandra's Incinerator, okay. <laughs> wild Wild, wild Scourge. Scur- Scourge, yeah. Great card. Great card. That's a fun one. Fantastic card. Fantastic. Basically, it has evolved. Like, every time you play a creature, I think a non-hydro creature, you get to put one, X one one counters on it. Uh, whenever one or more one one counters are put on another non-hydro creature. So yeah, so you, put, yeah, you put a counter, you put a counter on this guy too. Yeah. That's cool if you got something else, yeah, that's triggering all the time uh, yeah, or something. Yeah, you run in with Yarvo, the human, um, the guy with four one counters that, that from, one counter every from time. From Eldrain, yeah. yeah. Pack leader, okay. Not anything crazy. You know, I don't like when the rare's up front just because it takes away from, takes like, the suspense, suspense away. And, and for the sake of doing these YouTubes, like, you know, I want the audience to be like, what's coming, what's coming? But for the sake of time, it's kind of sweet. <laughs> and not sitting here having to thumb through a bunch of commons and figure out exactly where that stops. I'm getting a lot of these temples, though, as our rares, and that's kind of, I mean, you know, the funny thing, I think those are still a couple bucks a piece. I could be wrong, though. Uh, yeah, probably check that for me. That's it. Uh, Temple of Epiphany, or or okay, I'll just look up the temples from that any yeah, pretty, any temple, Temple of Mysteries, another one. Uh, I remember buying a place out of a Temple of Epiphanies. Ooh, yeah, that's one. That's cool. I'm not mad if I just get one of each of those lands here. Peer into the abyss. One dollar. One dollar. That's one it. Dollar. Huh? All right. Wow. Okay. Oh, duress. Oh. That's the OG duress, Yeah, duress had like three or four arts, so I think, for your magic. There's definitely, well, there's the mythic archive. Mystical there's some pretty cool ones. Like, archive. Has some dope art. I just want to say mythic archive. Mystical <laughs> archive has a cool, cool one. I like that one. And nine lives, cats and dogs out here. And M21. What is that? Oh no, that's a mirror. Paladin Mirror, yeah, it's the guy that adds two it's mana for you. That's cool for an artifact deck, a little mana dork, but eh, maybe he'll end up in an artifact deck. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know why I keep trying the tear tab. This things are it's like one out of five actually tears, right? Not get a rare? Oh, there's a foil in front of it. That's why. <laughs> cool. And transmogrify. That's a really cool art. Exile the target. Uh, exile target creature. That creature's controller reveals uh, cards from the top of their library until they reveal a, uh, a creature card. That player puts that card onto the battlefield. <laughs> why? why you... I guess you could do it to yourself. That's why. Right. <laughs> I'm like, well, wait a minute. Two why would you? In your deck. Whoa, that's a cool variant art. Chandra's like Pyreling. Cool. Yeah, so, right? I mean, probably be hard to really control exactly what you're going to get into, obviously, but I yeah. guess you could kind of structure a deck in a way where if you've got a play set of those and only several creatures, maybe it's, maybe, there's, maybe there's only 
So then what do you do? Put the and you shuffle the rest in the library. Yeah, okay, so you're not milling yourself, that's cool. Oh, fetid imp. Is that what I think? Is that the card I'm thinking of I need for my dredge deck? I don't think so, but maybe. Alright, we're about halfway. Still not doing too bad. Or did you ch price check those lands? A dollar. Oh, sorry. I thought you were checking the temples and stuff. Those were a dollar? Those were dollars. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, I got you. No, I'll check the other lands, though. These ones I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those. Those. yeah. yeah check those. Uh, let's see. Nine lives, foil. Yeah, we need a new stack. And we got the Primal Might. That's the first double rare pack. That's kind of sad. That'll be a sad draft. <clears throat> Heroic Intervention comes out of there. Yeah, that's right. I'll take one of those. So does uh, Terror of the Peaks. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Terror, Terror of the Peaks is the, probably Grim the top card I want. Bucks. Yeah, Grim Tutor's not bad. Chromatic Worry is $24. Hey, there's a Foil Fabled Passage, and that's not even going to be my rare. What do we got? Teferi's Ageless Insight. That's a. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. That's, that's one of the cool, like, variant arts. Look at you the mana symbols up there. That was a nice little pack right old there. Old Gargi. Old Gargi. Got a chance to pull an old Gargi. Old Gargi. Master of Time comes out of there to Fairy. That's the one I was thinking of that goes really great because you just keep drawing cards. You play his abilities with other instances. So that was cool. I got a variant art rare and a foil rare. I don't know about Teferi's Age. Excuse me, Teferi's Age is inside. Let's see. If That's you would draw a card. That's three bucks. For that variant one? Oh no, I don't know about that variant. Um, if you would draw a card except the first one you draw in each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. Interesting. So it's not during your draw step, but if you have any way to trigger card draw, you're drawing two cards yeah, that other instead. That's pretty nasty. The other one. Uh, or just when you draw stuff them. like Risen Reef or like other like creatures and stuff too could potentially draw you doubles too. That's cool. Animal Sanctuary, what a cool art. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on bird, cat, dog, goat, ox, or snake. That's almost cool for like novelty's sake. That's a really cool art. Look Eric at that. Unleash comes out of there. Most of my Simic deck comes out of M21, dude. Right. Leaf can Avenger. I feel like I need this guy. Nah. Rewind comes out of there. Counter target spell, untap four target lands. Hmm. Okay. That's almost like a freaking mana drain. A legal one. <laughs> oh, there's a Garrick Unleashed. Cool. Hey, no shit. Hey. Bam. Bam. And he will get yours. Yeah, he will. That's a badass plane blogger. Oh, sorry. How'd I do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Man, why is this pack so difficult? If you look at the back, there's a part of the seal where it's a little longer and there's one that's shorter. If you try to split it from the shorter end, it's easier. Hmm. Do you have like a spare cube in here somewhere? Uh, I don't think, uh, there is one floating around somewhere though. There's a veto. Terror of the Peaks, man. I'd be stoked on this box. It's a dollar thirty for the swamp. Okay. Seventy nine cents for the for the um, forest. Man, people always love alternate arts on swamps. I swear the most. Dollar fifty for the mountain. 
For the mountain, huh? Not a dollar for the island. Oh, that's great. Yeah, okay. And uh, seven cents for the planes. Okay. Planes is always the least valuable as well. The mountain is the most valuable one. Right. Walk next. The mountain just looks savage. Well, mountain burn is popular in one place. Everyone likes lightning bolts and things. Lightning bolt is banned in this Conspicuous Snoop, that's a cool card. You get to play with the top card of your library reveal, which obviously that's not great, but it, if it's a goblin spell, you can cast from the top of your library. And as long as it, uh, as long as it is a goblin, like and, and you don't cast it, Conspicuous Snoop gets all the abilities of the uh, of that card. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Pretty cool. Terror of the Peaks, man. Ruined Halo. Look at that little Kithkin in the art, though. That's cool. I think it's banned. It's a female Kithkin. Really? Mm -hmm. You have protection from the chosen color. Oh, from the chosen card name. Wow. I just, my brain just made up words to put on that card. That's really weird. <clears throat> really? Ruined Halo. What, like maybe in standard at the time? Or? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just like banned. Like, huh. I mean, yeah, but you're banning Commander. Uh, let me see. Teferi's Ageless Insight, any of those. Man, I really want the Terror of Peaks. Down to the last six packs. Can we get it? Oh no, it's been unbanned. It was banned. Huh. In, in modern. Uh, legacy commander and, and uh, standard. Really? Yeah. Everything basically though. Yeah. Besides vintage. Yeah, yeah, well, well, no, it's not. Yeah, when do you leave one? Some things. card came out that nullified its you know, brokenness. Hmm. Volcanic salvo. Alright, alright, alright. Not looking like we're gonna get a hit on that terror that peaks, man. Where's that? I still got packs. Baby at it's over. It's not like Fab where all you know all the good cards are at the bottom <laughs> of the box. Oh, there's a forest and the forest. We didn't get the mountain though. Spark Hunter Masticor. Man. Selfless Savior, that's a cool core. Yeah, sack and give another card indestructible. He's convenient. He's he's one drop. I just like the art in the sweet puppy dough. Ready to go to war. Save. I built a dog deck a while ago. Yeah? Yeah, on Arena. Yeah. Actually, pretty effective. Pack leader. Pack leader, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pulled one of those guys, yeah. Mm, Necromentia. No, Ugin. Is he an M20 or is he an M21? I think he's M21, right? Yeah, it's a fairy's tutelage. Cool alternate one. Scavenging ooze. Who doesn't love a scooze? Got too many of them already, though. Too many of those promo ones. You guys know what I'm talking about? Retro border foil promos from Wizards. Adric, the crown, the crown scourge. Oh, we got the double rare. Okay, that's a really cool art card. Solemn simulacrum. Solemn simulacrum. Say that ten times fast. When solemn simulacrum enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card. Put that on the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. When solemn simulacrum dies, you may draw a card. Hmm, interesting. Pretty cool. Put them with the. All parts down there. One pack. Can we get a dragon? Can we get Ugin or Terror of the Peaks? We really want it. We do. 
Only three mythics. Kind of a not a giant hit. Hmm, sanctum of all. Not what we wanted. All right, folks, you saw okay. it. That's it. No Ugin, no Terror of the Peaks. Mm. Bum, bumming on that. I wanted the Terror of the Peaks, but did want the Chromatic Ori and the Grim Tutor, and we got those. We got a nice Ooh. Fabled Passage. That's sick art. Yeah, that's a pretty cool art. I, mean, I wasn't even familiar with this card, too. Solemn Simulacrum. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not familiar, but there you got it, folks. Like, comment, subscribe, and look out for more content.